Arterial switch operation is the ideal corrective surgery for dextrotransposition of great arteries DTGA. It was described by Jetney and colleagues in 1976. The initial report had two patients aged 3 months and 40 days. First baby developed renal failure and succumbed on third postoperative day while the second patient survived. Both were operated upon with deep hypothermia and total circulatory arrest. The two coronary arteries with a piece of aortic wall attached were transposed to the pulmonary artery. Aortic openings were closed with a patch. Iota and pulmonary artery were transected, counterposed and anastomosed. The ventricular septal defect was closed with a patch. Though the initial case of arterial switch was done at 3 months of age, that is not the recommended age group for arterial switch operation. It has to be done as early as possible to prevent regression of the morphological left ventricular muscle mass. In DTGA, as the morphological left ventricle faces the pulmonary circulation, the muscle mass regresses after birth when the pulmonary vascular resistance falls. If a long period elapses after birth, Regression of morphological left ventricle makes it unable to face the systemic vascular resistance after arterial switch. If there is a left ventricular outflow obstruction, subpulmonic obstruction, a longer time window may be available because the morphological left ventricle does not regress. There are a few long term issues after an arterial switch operation. Because of the Lecomte maneuver, pulmonary root translocation, there may be a propensity for development of pulmonary artery stenosis. This has been tackled with balloon angioplasty and stenting. The procedure carries a potential risk of arteriopulmonary fistula and coronary compression. Evaluation of coronary arteries prior to pulmonary artery dilatation is mandatory as coronary reimplantation sites may be adjacent to sites of pulmonary artery stenosis. Potential risks of stent fracture and possible aortopulmonary fistula during stent redilatation should also be considered. Primary use of reinforced covered stents has been suggested. Other problems reported are aortic root dilatation, aortic regurgitation, and coronary artery problems. The differences in cellular and intercellular matrix between the aortic and pulmonary arterial walls and valve could be one reason for aortic dilatation and aortic regurgitation. A study published in 2019 assessed neoaortic dimensions and neoaortic wall regurgitation in 345 patients with TGA who had undergone arterial switch operation between 1977 and 2015. They found that after a rapid increase in the first year after arterial switch operation, and proportional growth in childhood, neoaortic dimensions continue to increase in adulthood without stabilization. There was an increased incidence of aortic regurgitation over time. Though early surgery within the initial few weeks is the recommended one for arterial switch operation, the results of delayed surgery has also been published in 2020. 11 patients with simple DTGA and intact interventricular septum had undergone arterial switch beyond 8 weeks with a mean age of 90.63 days, range 60 to 137 days. 7 patients had undergone Rashkin procedure. All patients had squashed left ventricular shape with preserved function. Sternum was left open in 10 cases. Extracorporeal membrane oxygenation ECMO, support was necessary in nearly half of the patients. Mechanical ventilation was needed from 1 to 16 days. Post-operative left ventricular function was preserved in about 90% of patients. Only one patient had mild myocardial dysfunction at time of discharge. Others concluded that primary arterial switch operation can be considered even beyond 8 weeks if mechanical circulatory support and expert cardiac intensive care unit services are available. Here are the first set of journal references. Second set of journal references. 
Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share and post your valuable comment below this video.